Hello MacWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to another episode of Rogue Tech. Now, before we begin, a little bit of a side note here. Um, Battletech has updated itself to patch 1.1 and uh, as a result you have, to, um, you have to mod this whole game completely from scratch. A link how you do it is down below in the description. There is a video from somebody. You just need to go through the whole process and Rogue Tech works again. So we have a somewhat stable version right now. It's still a work in progress as I record that, which is just the day where Battletech 1.1 hit the battlefield or hit uh, hit uh, hit Steam or whatever, um, but yeah, just follow the instructions down below. You gotta completely in install BTML mod tag, and uh, of course the the Rogue Tech mod itself. So just rename your old mod folder or delete it completely, uh, install it from scratch, and it works again. So this is a thing you have to do. Anyhow, last time we got a devastating defeat actually it was a victory but it was a victory with a cost we um have the head component from our black knight blown off and with it blockade and he's dead now hashtag sad face anyhow um the other guys got got a bit damaged the enforcer is only damaged but still intact so we lost the jump jet and that's basically is it uh, the arena lost a double heatsink um, but it's just not a big deal. However, what I'm mourning about a bit is the advanced materials tier 2 and our PPC triple plus. But you know what? It opens opportunities. So let's refit everything and then uh, do another mission here. Coach is out of days, uh, out of action for 14 days. And um, he's, uh, you know, I think one of my better pilots right now. We gotta see about that. So, medium laser. Oh, by the way. Uh, patch 1.1, uh, it also included some nice quality of life features. For example, we can see the siebel cost and the duration for the refit here before we hit the confirm button. So we can just fiddle around with it and see if we are uh, happy with it and then confirm it. Very nice hairbrain schemes. They have a lot of stuff built into this mod now, uh, into their basically game. So one day or oh, two days actually and 25,000 to replace the medium laser. And you know what? I'm gonna refit the dragon as well. So we have the Gauss rifle, uh, advanced materials. Yeah, take it out, man. Take it out. And then repair this. Now, what do we do? We have a bunch of energy hard points here and I think I want to use them. So my idea right now is to bring in a bunch of medium lasers. The Gauss plus medium lasers is for me at the moment a good idea. Of course, I could bring back a PPC, but you know what? We just do this. We just bring in as many medium lasers as we can, which is four, I believe, and then we should be fine. Uh, drawback of this whole thing is that we have to move one advanced materials to the arm so that we can bring in a laser here and the laser here and uh, we still have good firepower here. Of course our overall range drops a bit but we are running a heavy gauss anyway which reduces our range by 50% so it is a mid to close range dragon and uh, as you might tell we use um, it's called an inferno for it which has the, the juggernaut ability. Also, I want to redistribute my armor a bit. 90 in the back here is just way too much. Let's go back to like 55. Uh, let's go even higher on that because this is basically all I need. So, here 140. It will take uh, not that long, actually. I'm happy with that. Look at that. It's only six days. So, what can we do? Can we even uh, can we improve that even further? The question is, do we need heat management? I don't think so. Let's see, support systems maybe? Maybe we can bring in some small lasers maybe? Um, what else do we get? Advanced materials uh, tier 3 is the thing that we have here. We still have the slots for it, which opens up so much space. Targeting computer, accuracy improved cold shot, yeah, thank you, <laughs> give me that. And uh, NSS, EWS, not really needed, but what about an arm bot? Gives us 15% stability melee damage. <laughs> this takes eight days already. That's not good. I think I'm gonna go with the with the support systems here. Let's take some small lasers. Why the hell not? We are over tonnage now, which means we gotta reduce some of my back armor here. Oh yeah, we have 75 in the back. That's just just way too much. Let's go for 50 in the side and 55 in the back. And the center torso, and we are fine. So maximum arm armor now, that's great. And we have maximum leg armor as well. So we confirm this, takes eight days. And we have a new dragon now, which I think is pretty good. Now, uh, Irinia, gonna refit here as well real quick. And then we go, of course, on a mission after everything is done. Uh -huh. So we can only... 
Uh, we cannot, we cannot um, repair it. We have to replace it completely. And, uh, and I don't have any double heat sinks anymore here. Hmm. Not as a problem. What do we get? What do we get actually? Um, we can bring in advanced materials. <laughs> we can bring advanced material. Oh no, we cannot. The TSM is in the way. I was thinking about reducing the weight even further and then going for more small lasers. Do we do that? Now our heat management is crap. <laughs> so I think in this version of the of the game, if we have all heat sinks of one type, the heat sinks in the engine will be that type as well. So you know what? I'm gonna upgrade armor. I'm just plainly upgrading the armor here. I wanna make it as sturdy as possible. It's gonna be okay. So now we have half a ton. What do we do with half a ton? We could get another support system, like a small laser in here. <laughs> do we take another small laser? What's that? What? Is, is that broken? Oh, it is a broken small laser. Interesting. Now, how do we do it? We bring the TSM over here. We bring this in here. We repair this. Can I? I cannot repair it right away. Not from here. Repair all. Ah, this works. Okay, so we got a bit more upfront punch with that. Of course, again, our heat management is not that good anyway, but we can manage that. Let's confirm this and go for our enforcer, which also needs a new upgrade. Actually, we could have taken out the heat sinks from here. Uh huh. Okay, this jump jet needs to be replaced. Let's repair everything. I really, really like. We don't have any jump jet anymore. Okay, that's a problem. What else can we do? Um, we could bring another medium laser in. <laughs> with the advanced materials. Mm. I need to buy another jump jet real quick. Can we? Wait, there should be a button somewhere where we can access the store directly from here. Modified. Where is it? It, it said in the patch notes. Okay, it does not. Anyhow, you know what? You know what? I think my 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 heat management is good enough to bring in another medium laser anyway, and then we upgrade the armor here as well. Let's go to 120 on the legs. Let's go for 80 here. Actually, 75. <laughs> um. Yeah. Anyway, I think I want to do it like this. Good. We got more firepower on the Enforcer now. So, of course, our Panther will never be ready. Um, what's the... what's the... order here? So, Black Knight first. Firestarter is not really needed. Irinia is what we need. That's a really good mech. Um, afterwards the Panther and then probably the Grand Dragon. Uh, no, not the Panther. Uh, the, 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 the Enforcer. Let's go. So, this is my... yeah. This is my, my work order. The Panther is never gonna get ready. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we have to wait for some time until we can drop again and then we go into the next mission. It's a good thing is uh, that um, Coach will be back at full capacity again. And, and that's cool. What's also nice is that we have a speed up um, speed up uh, animation thing in the, in the game. I will show you later. What are we doing here? Festival of Lights. Oh, celebrate the Festival of Lights. Stock up the launch, but keep it simple. No, 5,000 Seabills. We can do it. Let's go. Morale increased by one. The company suffers one medical point for seven days. Okay. Sorry, coach. You gotta wait a little bit longer. Now, the good thing is that we uh, actually are able to do something before the financial report hits, which is now. And I want to quickly take a look at our Mac Warriors because I think with the current update of... Ooh, ooh. This is not looking good. With the current update... <laughs> we get a new new uh, skill here, which is Berserker now, and not, uh, what's it called, Bulwark earlier. Um, it is, uh, braces you after melee strike or death from above, oh great, Dec increases melee and death from above damage and reduces the death from above self damage by 5%. Yes, give me that please. The other icons are just broken. Successful melee attacks knock out your target back, an in initiative phase increases melee damage by 15%. I think I like the, the other one more. Increasing the damage by 10%. It's okay though. Yo. Coach. What, 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 wait, what is your role? So Inferno is the dragon. Right. We have Scrub on the Irinia. We have T-Bone, our jack of all trades. Uh, running the Enforcer? Yeah, sure. And then we have multi-target here. 
This is gonna be our Black Knight, right? You are playing the Black Knight. Are you playing the Black? You're you're running the Black Knight. Although I have to say, I really like I really like another Juggernaut here. Mm. Anyhow, so what do we get here? Let me check. Overheat threshold. Well, it's nice. We also have just recall penalty. Mm. And, of course, the increased hit chance. Maximum evasion is not really what we need. I think I want to make him a good a good shooter. Sure, why not? Let's go for gunnery on him. Okay, this is what Coach gets. Inferno gets nothing. Scrub gets nothing. And T-Bone? T-Bone on the Enforcer. Good question. You have multi-target already. Do we go for... I want one Master Tactician. With Sensor Lock. I think sensor locking people is, is really good later. Okay, so we have our first skill unlocked here, which is Master Tactician. Gives us the opportunity to act before other people. Let's go. Training confirmed, Commander. And now we take another contract. And uh, given the what circumstances that we got punished last time, I do not want to scratch it so hard. Therefore we go for... Let's do the interdiction here. Let's do the ambush convoy. It's only vehicles. We can deal with vehicles, right? Like vehicles plus escort. Two and a half? Should be possible. Um, money is okay so far. So I think we go for maximum salvage. I think the payment will exceed... Uh, no, our, our drop cost will exceed the... Oh, it won't exceed our, our payment. Okay, that's fine. Mm, as I was saying... Um, T-Bone. Now that I think about it... Do we want... Yeah, we want this on the. Uh, we want coach on the black knight because he has evasive move. The black knight is one of my frontliners. It needs to be on the front, and therefore having evasive move giving us um, better jumps, very important. And of course, the extra evasive charge is good. What's wrong with the dragon? Did I did I miss something on the dragon? Hmm. Huh. Could have been. Might have been. Oh yeah, I think I'm missing a small laser there. Okay, anyway, deploy. It doesn't matter that much. So we have two and a half shields, they have two and a half skulls, and we get into it. So let's see. I really hope that we don't run into any glitches or crashes or something. Um, again, it is a fresh patch. That means that it could be that the patch opened up some new bugs and new holes, like the, the regular battle tag patch, and then we have the mod that has been patched on top of it, and th that is still work in progress, as the developer said. So, be gentle here, Mr. Mr. Battletech and Mr. Patch. <laughs> so, preparing for combat. What's the plan? Destroy the Luren Convoy and escape. By the way, this is good when it stops, because it means that uh, there's something loading. I'm not freaked out by that. If it continues spinning forever, that's a problem, because that's a bug that happened a bunch of times to me. That means that I had to restart the whole recording over and over because I couldn't get into a mission and that was kind of annoying. But anyhow, preparing for combat, it will happen now. Do it. Mm. Come on. It should be coming out soon-ish. <laughs> this freaks me out. All right. Is it coming or not? There we go. Okay. All is good. Command interface okay, command interface initiated. We are on the planet and we have to ambush a convoy. Ambush convoy means vehicles and usually vehicles are easy to destroy. So this is the escape path, the escape point, and we have to set up an ambush somewhere. So let's go over to this point here, right? Intercept the convoy. Sure, why not? You know what? I'm gonna show you something. Look at this. Issuing this and then pressing spacebar. It didn't work? Wait, it worked earlier. I did one test run with that. And it d did work earlier. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Um, as you might tell, I'm a fan of reserving. And I know that some of you don't like it because uh, they think I could get into a better position. But getting the first shot, getting first blood is sometimes the better thing to have. Okay, so let's sprint with our Irinia. And if I press spacebar now, whoop, did you see it? So good, we can we can accelerate everything here. So that's nice. Okay. I hear you. T bone. Oh, you, you got a sprint as well. Going turbo. Going turbo. 
All right, we have Mr. Coach. I uh, think sprinting gets us further here. Copy that, Commander. Okay, done. Yeah. And you as well, please. Hauling ass. This is really good. This, this speeds up gameplay so much. All right, so we have two mech here. Uh, two, two mechs. And then this is probably the convoy. Yeah, you can see that. These are the, um, the, the half crosses here, and these are the full crosses. Full crosses being our main target. So we should probably say done, and then the next turn will start, and we will see what's coming. Light Mac. I really like having Scrub and T-Bone at the same initiative turn here. That's really yes, cool. Uh, but we reserve, like, twice. Because, again, I want to have first blood. I want to be able to shoot before they can do anything. That's the idea here. Okay, let him come. Another mech. So we probably have a light and a medium mech here. Oh, a hunchback. Got it entrenched. What are your orders, Skipper? So if I moved in now, all of these guys could follow up on me. Therefore, I don't want that. I don't I want them to do something before that. Did I reserve? They didn't do anything? Oh, interesting. Also, this initiative one thing is a little bit up, worrisome, I have to say. Okay, so we move in here. I get you. Let's move. see what we can do. Um, we have a Wolverine and a Hunchback. Hunchback, of course, with an AC-20. That's scary. Uh, Wolverine with an AC-5. We start... Hmm. Start shooting the Hunchback first. Lockdown. In this scenario here, it doesn't really matter which one, because both are guarded and um, both have the same hit chance. Resisted morale check. I'm listening. I'm listening. So what we could do, of course, is um, trying to make them unsteady somehow. So that they lose both their evasion and their guarded state. Let's see. Of course we need big impacts, big stability damage here, and they only take 50% of it. Here we go. But if the Gauss Rifle hits, and maybe the AC-10 afterwards, we could get that. So T-Bone. T-Bone, what if you... Hmm. Sprinted? I think sprinting is better here because it doesn't generate too much heat. All right. So, 40% hit chance. You can do it. I know it. Special delivery. Sadly not. Not this time. Um, but we still have our secret weapon, <laughs> which is Stand our Black Knight. Coach running it. Do I want to jump here? This will mess with my, with my, um, with my aim a lot. What if I sprint it? If I sprint, I cannot get into medium. Oh, actually, I can get into medium laser range. Sure, let's do it. This Black Knight is actually really fast. I really need a supercharger or something. So PPC, of course, deals massive stability damage, or it's a good stability damage. 50% um, hit chance for this heat, this amount of heat. Hmm, we gotta get into melee anyway. Pew, pew, pew. Not unsteady yet. Sadly. Okay. Oh, this is a melee attack? Wow. Why are you so fast? Uh oh. I'm pretty happy that I amplified the armor on my dragon. <laughs> okay, so we are fatigued. We got some stability damage. And uh, of course, as I was saying, we have to deal with the hunchback and we have to do it soon. Question is, how? It is the melee attack and then following up with uh, with the T-Bone, sure. So, we punch him back one initiative, initiative turn. We definitely get rid of his evasion. We definitely get rid of his guarded state. Question is, what is Scrub doing? Oh, we don't get that if we miss, of course. Okay. He lost guarded anyway. And then there's uh, a tank or something. Oh, it's a it's a light mate coming in. And this is the problem. The Irinia is the prime target for all of these guys now. Uh, Bulldog, not scary. Demolisher. Oh my god. SRM carrier, striker. Um, I hear ya. Mm-hmm. Yes. No. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay, we, got, we gotta go. We gotta go close. Got Kill the hunchback now. This is no just shooting. the thing that we have. Oh, actually, we could try to destroy this thing. Uh, it's 50... 55. 
55 damage is what we need. Yeah. We definitely multi-target here. All of the medium lasers to the hunchback and the one AC-10, hopefully killing the SRM carrier. Right, Commander. Scratch another target. Okay, so the Demolisher is again an unfortunate target to go up against right now, but I have nothing to do against him. I cannot kill this thing in one go. It has so much armor. <gasps> oh, and we see the health now! Oh, did you see it? Three out of four, we know how many knockdowns we have to do now. Or pilot injuries in general. Oh, this is good! This is amazing! Thank you, Hairbrain Schemes! Right here. Did you see that? Did you see it? Oh, I'm so happy with that. What are your orders, <sighs> okay, coach. It is... It, we, it has to be the Hunchback, right? Yeah. Mm. How do we go about the, the Wolverine? The Wolverine did something this turn already. Skipper. Okay. Um, I'm listening. You know what? I'm gonna push forward with the dragon and just shoot this guy. Moving. I want to give these guys, especially the Demolisher, another target next to the Irinia. And uh, do we shoot everything? We don't need that much. It's only 33 damage. Um, I'm very tempted to do multi-target here. As I was saying, it's only 33. Sure, we could make the cold shot, but I think one of the medium lasers... Well, actually, we need two of the medium lasers that find the way to the center torso. Ah, this is one of the fancy moves here. What are our hit chances? Come on. No, we can only shoot the Vindicator anyway, so... No. Primary target is either the Demolisher or the Hunchback, so we shoot everything here. It's okay. Going a bit, little bit high on the heat threshold. But it's okay. Took him down. Oh. Now the question is... What are they doing? This is the Striker? It's okay. Sure. Uh, 100 damage. 110 damage. From our melee attack, of course, dealing good stability damage, etc., etc., or going for the shot in the back. But he is so evasive that just punching him is the right call. Also, we dissipate some heat with that. Sure. Good Who is he destroyed? That's how we deal with them. Nice. Okay, it is looking good so far. Um. So, the thing is, we need to get the Irinia out. Mm -hmm. Where to? That's the question. Shall we just ambush them? Ha! I'm gonna set up an ambush here. Just moving over there. Just getting out of harm's way for the Demolisher. Brace here. And then next turn we can come around or just... Yeah. Go in their flanks, whatever. That's okay. The dragon is made for it. Ah. Stressed. Okay. So what about T-Bone? My reasoning now is that we need to get the Demolisher out of this. Do we just focus on this and leave everybody aside at the moment? I mean, Enforcer is also relatively fine when it comes to... Um, armor right now. Sprinting three and a half. Three and a half. Okay, so if we went, wait, if we went over here, we could shoot everything, which we should probably do. Yeah, it's okay. You gotta live, T-Bone. I, I believe in you. I mean, if we had Vigilance now, I would have definitely used it, but we don't. And I'm gonna push the limits here. We're going over our heat threshold, hoping that we do not shut down. Okay, that's fine. You know, sometimes you have to take a risk. Vindicator. Mm -hmm. Ow! Okay. That's not cool. Resisted morale check. Now, again, I'm banking on evasion yeah. here a lot. Um, we can move over here and get a good shot on this guy. We have to. We can kill. And I'm only moving instead of um, sprinting forward because I want to have the the higher hit chance here. Overheating here as well. Is that worth it? Like if we don't hit this with our Gauss rifle, we had 74 that we need to deal. We have to go. Let's go. Here you 
Yeah. Mm hmm. Spreading damage everywhere. Override successful. Good. No, we only have coach. God, this thing is so hot. Both of them are so hot. The good thing is that we still can bring in coach, and coach is cold at the moment. Now, how do we get an angle on him? We only can shoot our PPC from that range. If we jumped closer, we can only shoot our PPC. If we sprinted, it's always the PPC. So, we just move, right? No, we, 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 we sprint forward. What's the hit chance here? 85. Minus the sprint. We gotta consider that. That is not being calculated into it right now. Okay, so it is a move. We have to kill capacity on multiple components now. We deal 55 damage. So, side, kills, front, kills. Uh, this doesn't kill. Okay. Let's see. Copy that. It did not kill. I think it went to the right side. Yeah. Oh, crap. I have a bad feeling about this. This is not good. It's double AC20 coming from the Demolisher. And he misses both. Oh my god. Thank you, RNG. Jesus. <laughs> Good, this enables uh, some options here. That's really, really handy. Of course, standing by. Scrub can do the melee attack here, which is extremely risky because he's standing just right in front of them. Is this the right call? Hmm. What about if he shoot? I think this is better. On my way. I think this is better. I don't want to be right in there. So we stay a little bit away from it, we engage from the side, we need 40, actually 39. Um, we can shoot all of our weapons, which we definitely do, just because I want to get that thing off the battlefield. And there we go, nice. Cool, that works, it's fine. Okay, Vindicator, just repositioning. A lot of small lasers coming in here. Or oh, actually one small and one medium. And our dragon slowly, slightly gets into, into trouble here. Because we cannot we cannot reach this Vindicator. We have to shoot him down. And my plan actually was to melee a bunch now. Which we do with T-Bone. Sure. We need to dissipate some heat. We have a melee attack of 65. That's not that crazy. But I think it's better than shooting. Or continue shooting. Let's engage from the front so that we get a higher chance to hit the head or the CT. Or we miss completely. Hmm. Dude, 80%. Pilot check. Ooh, what? Melee, melee gives us stability damage. Okay. Oh, and the right side is open. Let's not lose our Gauss rifle. Very important here. So we have to keep that in mind when we position ourselves. Shut on override successful. These guys are getting hot as well. Interesting. Hmm. Two strikers. No, a striker and the bulldog. It's actually scary. I mean, the bulldog can be killed in one go with our Gauss rifle. What's that? 94? We have 90, right? 93. We're off by one. Okay, so we can potentially kill the striker. But it has to be a melee attack here. Very important. I'm on my way. So, we might be able to... Punch him to the ground. Let's see. We definitely got the initiative. And he passes the ability check. Okay. That's fine. Hmm. And the good thing is that the tanks use the rule of proximity. What's close is dangerous, right? So, shoot the Irinia a bit more. That's great. Now, coach. What about your heat, man? Hmm. Mm-hmm. We gotta shoot this guy a bunch, right? Could melee this guy with 110, which is bigger pinpoint. Could also shoot this guy for everything, which is just more damage, but spread. But since we are engaging from the side and this side is almost down, we just go for that. We shoot everything. Now let's see how you handle this. Head destroyed! Nice shot. Wow. Okay. Target down, Commander. You are lethal, coach. I should really check um, the hiring halls for another spare pilot. We really need another one. So in case somebody gets severely injured, that we have somebody to replace. Waiting for orders. 
Mm. Oh, we do some tank stomping here, right? Sure, why not? I think the Bulldog is scarier than the Striker, so we go for this guy. Shoot everything, I don't care. I think the melee attack, if it hits, of course, will be enough. Yep. But better safe than sorry. If we didn't get that, we might have destroyed him with the regular weapons here. Looking good. Two and a half skulls. Still, it was or still is a kind of a scary mission because at some point, at any point of the game, we could just have a bad roll on the table and we get another headshot. Especially that AC-20 situation earlier. That was scary. Okay, we engage from the back. Punch him a bit more. I just want to get uh, rid of his evasion and of course the stability damage so that we can make the cold shots when he's knocked down. If he's knocked down. Yep. Looking good. Mmm, 27 damage. That was the center torso hit. Health, 2 out of 3. Nice. This is so cool. This is what we needed. Okay. Coach. Should I just stomp on him? Yeah. And I think the pieces are coming together really well here on the on the Black Knight. Sure, the build is not optimal yet, but um, the whole the whole change of pace, going for melee, then shooting, then going for melee again, then shooting again. I really like this. And you miss. A 95% chance and you miss. Okay, obviously you are not made for melee attacks. Okay. Commander. <laughs> we gotta do it like this then. Uh, ghost rifle over here. Location confirmed. So that we get a better hit chance. And, you know, she's gonna seal the deal. Okay. Also, I still think that Inferno still needs to to play another mech, maybe a light mech later, with a lot of flamers. Her name is Inferno, right? Maybe I can change her to the Irenia. That would make sense. Ready for orders. Okay, uh, do the same thing as to the Bulldog earlier. Engaging. Stomping on that thing. Good. And we made it. Cool. I like my lands, I have to say. And I think, honestly, the dragon, the grand dragon with the medium lasers instead of the PPC is actually better. Because we have just more individual hit chances. We have, we can split the fire if we want it. And um, sure, we are missing on pinpoint, but our overall damage potential, especially considering that we knock down targets a lot, um, is better because then we can focus everything on one component and we have in a, in a, a higher damage spike coming out. So, we got a bit of money. Uh, I think we negotiated for full salvage. We've got to repair our dragon a bit, but that's okay. Nothing got really destroyed. What do we have here? Okay. AC-20 double plus. That's great. What else? SRM-4 double plus. Mm, just crit. Mm, armored comm system plus morale gain. I think this is a thing that I want... Yes, and then standard heat sinks. So we didn't really get crazy stuff out of here. So we take the comp system, sure. This gives us 15% melee damage. This is what I was looking for earlier. Our melee will be so good, and then we take the AC-20. I don't want any of these mechs. <laughs> Not really. So that's gonna be it. Cool. Got a Wolverine on top of it, got an SRM4, LRM10, blah 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 blah, jump jets. Okay. Nice. So, I know guys, you really like longer versions, longer, longer episodes, but I have to say I want a very tight schedule today and therefore that's it for today. Tomorrow we do double mission or longer mission or whatever again. I aim for an hour, but um, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.